How are you? Welcome. So glad you're here. On a day steeped so much in tradition. You don't want to come? <laughs> it is rare to find anyone here celebrating this holiday for the first time. No, this is the first time. This man is named Gula John, one of more than 200 refugees invited to their first Thanksgiving. A nonprofit called Gateway of Grace hosted it in Plano. United States are a very great and beautiful country. On this day, Gula John said he's just thankful to be safe. He's 34, used to work for a wireless company in Afghanistan, and he fled there in August, just 11 days before the last U.S. troops left. Today, Gula John said he is still trying, though, to get his family out as well. My wife, my children is in Afghanistan right now. It's not like going to a neighboring country. America is a, on the other side of the world, and it has a totally different culture. So when Americans embrace them, it makes their uh, integration into the culture that much easier. Refugees here are not only from Afghanistan, but also Pakistan, Iraq, Kosovo, and many other places. And this is put on every year by a Dallas woman named Samira Page, originally from Iran, who was once a refugee herself. Yes, I know, I know what it feels like to be uh, isolated, to, uh, to be a refugee. They feel guilty that they have survived, you know, and they have got here and they have left family behind. And that guilt is um, it's really hard for them to deal with. You know, so we really want them to experience a little bit of the joy of this season. This is the 11th year that Samira has organized a Thanksgiving for refugees, hoping each time that they come to appreciate a new tradition by simply providing a sense of belonging. In Plano, I'm Jason Whiteley.